The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, Fearlessness, purification of one's existence, cultivation of spiritual knowledge, charity, self-control, performance of sacrifice, study of the Vedas, austerity, simplicity. Non-violence, truthfulness, freedom from anger, renunciation, tranquility, aversion to fault-finding, compassion for all living entities, freedom from covetousness, gentleness, modesty, steady determination. Vigor, forgiveness, fortitude, cleanliness, and freedom from envy and from the passion for honor these transcendental qualities, O son of Bhartha, belong to godly men endowed with divine nature. O Partha, the qualities of those who poses a demoniac nature are hypocrisy, arrogance, conceit, anger, harshness, and ignorance. The divine qualities lead to liberation, while the demoniac qualities are the cause for a continuing destiny of bondage. Grieve not, O Arjuna, as you were born with saintly virtues. There are two kinds of beings in this world, those endowed with a divine nature and those possessing a demoniac nature. I have described the divine qualities in detail, O Arjuna. Now hear from me about the demoniac nature. Those possessing a demoniac nature do not comprehend which actions are proper and which are improper. Hence, they possess neither purity, nor good conduct, nor even truthfulness. They say, the world is without absolute truth, without any basis, and without a god. It is created from the combination of the two sexes, and has no purpose other than sexual gratification. Holding fast to such views, these misdirected souls, with small intellect and cruel actions, arise as enemies of the world, threatening its destruction. Harboring insatiable lust, full of hypocrisy, pride and arrogance, the demoniac cling to their false tenets. Thus illusioned, they are attracted to the impermanent and work with impure resolve. Parama 
They are obsessed with endless anxieties that end only with death. Still, they maintain with complete assurance that gratification of desires and accumulation of wealth is the highest purpose of life. Held in bondage by hundreds of desires and driven by lust and anger, they strive to accumulate wealth by unjust means, all for the gratification of their senses. The demoniac person thinks, so much wealth do I have today, and I will gain more according to my schemes. So much is mine now, and it will increase in the future, more and more. He is my enemy, and I have killed him, and my other enemies will also be killed. I am the Lord of everything. I am the enjoyer. I am perfect, powerful, and happy. I am the richest man, surrounded by aristocratic relatives. There is none so powerful and happy as I am. I shall perform sacrifices, I shall give some charity, and thus I shall rejoice. In this way, such persons are deluded by ignorance. Posed and led astray by such imaginings, enveloped in a mesh of delusion, and addicted to the gratification of sensuous pleasures, they descend to the murkiest hell. Such self-conceited and stubborn people, full of pride and arrogant in their wealth, perform ostentatious sacrifices in name only, with no regard to the rules of the scriptures. Blinded by egotism, strength, arrogance, desire, and anger, the demonic abuse me, who am present in their own body and in the bodies of others. Those who are envious and mischievous, who are the lowest among men, are perpetually cast into the ocean of material existence, into various demoniac species of life. Attaining repeated birth amongst the species of demoniac life, O son of Kunti, such persons can never approach me. Gradually they sink down to the most abominable type of existence. There are three gates leading to the hell of self-destruction for the soul, lust, anger, and greed. Therefore, one should abandon all three. Etai 
Those who are free from the three gates to darkness endeavor for the welfare of their soul and thereby attain the supreme goal. Those who act under the impulse of desire, discarding the injunctions of the scriptures, attain neither perfection no happiness nor the supreme goal in life tasmat shastram pramanam te karya karya vyavasthitau nyatva shastra vidhanoktam karma kartu vihar hasi therefore let the scriptures be your authority in determining what should be done and what should not be done understand the scriptural injunctions and teachings and then perform your actions in this world accordingly <laughs> <laughs> 